Vai, shift, shift, shift. National headquarters of the party that will do any screening. Thank you. Uh, the 
that will lead to the primaries on uh, February 17th, 2024. Only the national headquarters of the party, and we will speak with the authority of the national chairman uh, in this respect. Candidates from the Middle State are enjoined, most fair, confident that nobody has been zoned out, nobody has been zenorized, and candidates have the right to campaign. It is only the electorate in the Middle States that will determine who will become the candidate of the party. Thank you. Under the supervision of the National Working Committee of APC. So the national chairman has also asked me to work this comment in addition to the press statement that we issued. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or they said the women are gentlemen as far as the media is concerned. I hope I'm, I'm on good standing. Yes. Thank you very much, gentlemen of the press uh, and other persons here present. Uh, as you have been told, I have just obtained my expression of interest and nomination form for the governorship election in Edo State coming up on the 21st of September. Of course, the primaries, as you know, come up on the 17th of February. I have uh, a prepared, a very brief prepared statement, which I will distribute to you uh, so that I can be reported very accurately and correctly. First, let me congratulate you for having this special uh, place for yourselves. Because the last time I stood before the press corps of the uh, APC National Secretariat, it was at a different venue. I can see that you have a dedicated venue to yourselves. So I say congratulations. You will recall that last Friday, the 19th of January, the National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressives Congress, Felix Morka, Esquire, issued a press statement to the effect that all interested aspirants for the Edo Governorship election 2024 are free to come and collect their forms. Pursuant to that statement, I have come here today to pick up the expression of interest and nomination forms. And I can very proudly display them for you to see. For many of us, this coming election is a must win, capital letters, must win for Edo State APC. No impediment no matter how contrived and from whatever source can stop our great party APC from reclaiming Edo in 2024. The mistakes which made APC to lose the state to PDP in 2020 must not be allowed to afflict us a second time. For APC as a party, Edo state is a low-hanging fruit. We must not lose this opportunity to reclaim it with me as candidate. My popularity and acceptability spread across the three senatorial districts of Edo State and even beyond APC. I know that my supporters, well-wishers, and all people of goodwill across Edo State and beyond will be elated and relieved to see me here at the APC National Secretariat to collect these forms. So many of them will be pleasantly, will be very pleased to see me collecting forms contrary to certain insinuations from certain quarters that you know very well. Edo people are yearning for good governance. They want to see Edo State resources being used to develop the state 
and transform the lives of the people for the better. They are waiting to give me a resounding victory in the September 21st governorship election. They remember very well my excellent performance as governor for 17 and a half months from 2007 to 2008, and they want to see me back in Osadebe Avenue as governor. Hence, I have christened my manifesto the rebirth of Edo for excellence. Now we have taken the first step. We will not look back. Rather, we are looking forward to the direct primaries promised us by the leadership of the party. I am confident, and you just had the Deputy National Organizing Secretary assuring that the party will do what is right and will conduct a very free, fair, and credible primaries, free from any, uh, any flaws that anybody may want to introduce into the process. So with that assurance, I'm very confident that the party will conduct proper primaries devoid of undue influence and manipulations. By the grace of God, our victory is sure. God bless Edo State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all. Thank you very much. Hello, please. Okay. Please don't know me very well. He was the governor while I was the student union president. By divine providence, we were among the people he gave birth to. That was 2007, 2008. And not just only that, there was a developmental strike across the whole Edo states. All the whole 80 local government who witnessed the developmental strike. Essentially, another thing is AAU. There was another developmental strike in AAU. My old department, civil engineering, was also accredited while he was a governor. By the special grace of God, why, if a do people elect him, there will be more development in the do state. I want to appeal to each and every one that Professor Sereme Osubo is the right person, is the right candidate, and is the right person to occupy that position. The, this question about who are my backers takes me back to 2006, 2007 when I was running. If any of you was in the press conference, were you there at the press conference? There was a lady, I think, journalist, who asked me this question. He, says, he said the two other front runners in the race for the, I think 2006, for the APC ticket, one was being supported by the president at the time, the other was being supported by a certain leader, who is my supporter. I told her, God is my supporter and backer. And I also want you to be one of my human supporters that I can count. So that is the same reply we give to you, God is my supporter. Uh, what is your name? I will also want to enlist you. We exchange phone numbers so that you can be one of my supporters and be my canvasser amongst your colleagues here. So that is on that. The second point about conspirators, you know, when you say conspirators, it involves many people. Conspirators. It presupposes that at least two. There could be three or four or five. There were many. Maybe if you had to elaborate, you would know that the conspirators were many. But the situation at that time is very different now. Those who conspired then may not be available to conspire now. So I think that is enough. Because uh, the conspirators were not just in uh, the opposition party. There were conspirators even in my own party at that time. Do. 
in a one page, that is just one page. I can't tell you in details what I want to do, but I referred to my manifesto. It is the manifesto that tells you your plan of action. And I have christened my manifesto the rebirth of Edo for excellence. There's not, no time here to go into the 12 pillars. It consists of 12 pillars. I can't begin to enumerate all of them here. But it includes things like um, roads, which is very critical, water supply, security, uh, labor, good governance, youth, women and sports, health, agriculture, and so forth and so on. If you have, if you get the copy of my manifesto, you'll be able to get details as to what I plan to do. But in summary, if a do for excellence produced good results in 2007 to 2008, I assure you that the rebirth of a do, ex uh, a do for excellence will do far better than we did before. Well, he is, as you said, Putin. If you saw, did you see the picture of the wedding? His uh, son got, got married on the, was it 31st of December? 31st. Is there anybody here who saw the videos? You saw it. Did you see him dancing with somebody? <laughs> so that shows you that we are cordial. I don't have to say more. Readily answer this question without any hesitation. Well, for me, rotation is somewhat different from zoning. If you take it at the national level, there's rotation of the presidency between north and south, north and south. And it's been working very well, hasn't it? Once you rotate, now that the presidency rotated from the north to the south, other positions were zoned. Can you see the subtle difference? Yes. So I believe in the principle of rotation. And I believe in the principle of zoning. People confuse the two, but for me, they are not exactly the same. For Edo, I believe there should be rotation of the governorship amongst the three senatorial districts of the state. Having rotated in the manner that presidency is rotated from, uh, rotated from north and south, having rotated across the territorial districts, you will then zone where the deputy governor is going to come from. You will zone where the SSG is going to come from. You will zone where the speaker is going to come from. Do you understand how zoning works? And I believe it's a good thing. It uh, makes for... Uh, um, it inculcates a sense of belonging, oneness, unity, a sense of inclusion. And I think a country like Nigeria needs that kind of spirit in order to forge national unity. A state like Edo needs that kind of spirit in order that no component part of the state feels left behind. People will say that it is not constitutional. It is constitutional. Go and read section 14 of the Constitution, you will find that it says that offices should not be concentrated in one part of the country or in one religious group or the other in order to ensure that there is a fair distribution. Let every part feel a sense of belonging and have opportunity to occupy those offices rather than concentrating it and keeping it perpetually within one specific geographical but developing the state, it is not so much for me, it is for the people of Edo State. So I'm not going to get what I forgot there. I didn't forget anything there. I want to go there to be able to impact the lives of my people, my Edo people, in a very positive way. <laughs> to ensure that you prune the candidates to a manageable I'm too old for the office of governor, or too young for that matter. And at any rate, if you see any of such people saying it, let him challenge me on a race. <laughs> eh? Or do press-ups <laughs> and see who gives up first. In fact, somebody was telling me that 
his friend. I don't know if it's Tom or somebody that, somebody was saying I'm too old. And he, Tom, told the person, Prof, 2 a.m., if you pick his phone, he's still busy online. Yes, sir. He doesn't go to bed as early as you that he say prof is old. By 10, you are already snoring. <laughs> <laughs> I think you told me the story. Yes. So that's it. Some of the people saying this is about how heavy you are. And, and, and for you who are media people, maybe you also know. You know, these parameters, these uh, health indices, keep they are uh, adjusted from time to time. You know that. Like, for instance, they used to say eggs are bad for people. It's, it's not good for adults. But recently, they say eggs are actually very good. At a time, they said 70 is the beginning of old age. But now, it's been revised upwards that old age starts at 80. I have it. I have it on my phone. I can share it amongst you. And uh, I'm as healthy as any of you. If you want, if you doubt it, take, let's take <laughs> <laughs> so, the other thing is about uh, conciliation. Well, you said there was a part of my statement that ruled out, that appeared to conclude that I have to be optimistic. It's like, I think they asked uh, the president a similar question. What will you do if it is not you, if it's somebody else? that wins. And he says, it is me that is going to win. It's my turn. So you don't, you don't expect me to say, in case somebody else wins, I believe I will win. <laughs> By the grace of God. So it's not me to begin to hazard what will happen if somebody else is. But I am not averse to reconciliation. In fact, in politics, politics is about give and take. You know, I, have, I, I am a student of political science. Law and political science are related. And I know that you can't have all the answers. You can't take it all. As a legislator involved in budgeting, I know what it takes to budget so that something goes round. Everybody has a bit of it rather than you taking everything. So I'm very accustomed to this give and take to this spirit of reconciliation. And by the grace of God, I will bring that spirit to bear as governor of Edo State when, by the grace of God, I am sworn in in November this year. <laughs> to compare my experiences in PDP and my <coughs> experiences in APC. Well, you said it all. I was a uh, two time senator on the platform of PDP, governor on the platform of PDP. But the gentleman who asked the question talked about conspiracy. And I said that conspiracy was not just in the opposition. And you know, you know what happened. But I don't like to dwell too much about the past because what lies ahead of us is bigger. So I am now in APC and I'm very comfortable in APC. And by the grace of God, I'm hoping, working and praying to ensure that I get the APC ticket and become elected as APC governor of a state. Yeah. I'm praying, I'm working towards getting elected.